Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today we're going to be continuing our two-point hospital adventure with Grockle Bay. Taurus like to bring in all manner of peculiar illnesses to this wonderful sunny town. Welcome to Grockle Bay. It is a tourist hotspot prepared to be inundated with germ-ridden holidaymakers who can't cope with the heat in the south. I recommend investing in some air conditioning at the earliest opportunity. So let's just pause the game and let's have a little look-see. So in here, um, we're going to be curing cubism. I know we got it for the first time in Sweaty Palm, so it's going to be our main illness focus for the um, one star. So you can see in the top right, hostile value of 750, hostile attractiveness of 60%, and cure 10 patients with cubism. As we go through the stars, it's then going to switch to hostile value, attractiveness, reputation, and cure rate. Um, so attractiveness is going to be a theme throughout, but we don't really need to worry about it too much. Slap on some gold stars, slap on some fountains, we'll all be good. So you can see the, I mean, the plots are a bit of a weird shape. I mean, there are swimming pools everywhere in this hospital. Like, what is going on? Ugh. So, let's, and, and you can see it's really annoying this one, um, that the rooms or the areas aren't square. So I always end up just with like these random alcoves, just usually not having anything. But let's see, see if I can, yeah, I can fit a GP's office just there and then essentially we've just got this space there, just unattended. So you can see it's kind of, yeah, it's, I don't like it as much because it just throws me off. What am I doing? There we go. Oh, all right, let's get a GP's, off, a GP's office sorted. This is a hot room, so, or a hot area. So we're gonna need aircon. And the aircon is gonna mean that we just can't build that extra um, medicine cabinet. And that's gonna be the same um, with most of our rooms because we're gonna be using aircon throughout. Luckily though, it doesn't seem like we have natural disasters, so, really really help that we're not going to be having um, the machines going up in flames every so often yeah sweaty palms a real tough one it's I mean it's, it's one of the reasons why I went for it first because um, get it out of the way because yeah it is not a fun level well, they're all fun really but it's, it's a very difficult level to say the least so these medicine cabinets aren't going to play ball, which is always fun. Let's see. Come on, there we go. Let's get them down. So yeah, the the attractiveness. It's, it's the first time we've really had a goal of getting attractiveness, like as in a main focus for a star. Anyway, I know we've had little mini tasks to have to do it before. But yeah, it's um, it's one of the easier ones because we can just build some lovely fountains which we unlock with kudos points. You should have a lot of kudos points by now, so we can start spending some of these in the near future. Um, yeah, the gold fountains are pretty good. Bam, bam, bam. Just stick them down. There we go. Go and actually, I think we're yeah we're missing. Yeah, nearly got away from me that one. Missing one medicine cabinet. There we go. So, got our GP's office. Got that weird little alcove, which is just going to slowly annoy me. Uh, but let's stick. Let's make use of it and just stick a snack machine. We got a luxury snack machine. Salty snacks machine. Ah, stick a snacks machine. Stick it. Get it in there, and then we'll just get a bin here. There we go. So we have our GP's office. I want to build a staff room, toilet, um, pharmacy, training room. What else am I going to build? I think that'll be it to start with. 
Oh, what am I doing? I'm all over the place today. I am... I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a... I'm trying to build a room over a door, I'm pretty sure as well. Yeah, brilliant. It is going well. Where, where do we want to build these things? Let's get a staff room over here in the corner. And what we can do as well is that we can just stick our toilets just next to it. Come on, get down. So as always, let's get these punch bags in. The staff just love them. Don't know why. I mean, I love I love using a, a punch bag too, but yeah, the staff just love them. Energy drink, snack machine, bins in the corner because I pretty much can't think of anything else to stick in there. Aircon unit, slap bang in the middle. Takes up a bit more space, but there we go. Get a nice little rug down and our gold stars near the area where our staff are going to spend most of their time. And you should be able to see as well our attractiveness of the hospital is just slowly ticking up. So by the time we click play, we're probably going to have a... Um, ah, yeah, there you go, 66%. I was going to say we're probably going to get there. Um, we have... Doom, 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 doom. There we go. Bang three toilets in here. Let's get that hand dryer done. This time we have to use a small aircon unit, I think. We're we gonna fit this in? I can't remember. Yeah, we're not gonna fit that in. Yeah, so let's just get a small aircon in. Let's get it against the wall there. What am I missing? Sinks, of course. Sinks. And de toi. There we go. Bang down a few more gold stars. As always, I'm not too fussy about getting a five-star toilet, but four. Well, not a five-star, sorry, toilet, sorry, a five level five prestige toilet. And then we got a training room. I'm gonna stick it just here. And let's get three deaths in. And then I guess we best do a reception. Um, yeah, reception and maybe a pharmacy as well. We should probably um, get a pharmacy in. Look at what staff we're going to hire. Oh, the joys of starting a brand new level. So let's just quickly smash these down. There we go. Usually only fit two on this side. Keep these tight-ish though, because you can just sneak one just there. Beautiful. We need an aircon unit. Just gonna stick it there, and then back to our encyclopedias. Here we go. Fit one just there. Nice little place for it. And let's just keep an eye on the price because I don't want to be spending too much money. He says, while having a 60k training room. Yeah, I will leave it at that for now. Before I forget, let's sort the policy out. Fast track, promote staff automatically, and let's go our prices all the way up, although we're gonna have to come back and do this quite a lot because we've not actually look, unlocked any illnesses yet. So, who have we got? Ooh, looks like we've got some decent staff actually. Oh, I'm excited. So we got this guy who is going to drop straight in and um, get trained GP. And whether the male or female, I always just call everyone guys, so... Don't worry about it too much. This one wouldn't be too bad, but I hate hiring unhygienic people. We have a nurse for our, with a tireless trait. That's going to be one for the pharmacy. Expensive and unmotivated. No, thank you. Uh, a litterer, but I'll hire them for now, and we will look to replace them. Pretty sharpish. So you can see already, we've not got that many rooms in, but it is quite full. 
yeah it's quite full already so we we're gonna be a bit cramped on space methinks this one all right we definitely can't put as many um oh i thought i dropped that as many medicine cabinets down in this one um because we need the aircon unit that's the word there we go I really like the music in this game. I don't know why it gets to me every time. So I think I'm just going to do three on this one and just leave the, the gap for the aircon unit. Ah, there we go. And we might actually need to expand pretty early because things are already getting cramped in this building <sighs> i can't be bothered to move them um all right aircon unit we're gonna fit a small one in it seems there we go just there, and then a fire extinguisher because it is a machine. There we go, right by the door. And then top it off with our gold stars. Get that hospital attractiveness level up. But we're already at 80, so we're smashing it really. I mean, at um, star three, we need it to be 80%. So already doing a great job on that. So this, this one only working there, only working there, and janitors. So we have pretty one who's going to do pretty much everything. That'll probably be a good one to start with. So let's get them, get them upgrading that drug mixer. Yeah. What else have we got? I mean, yeah, I can take him as well, actually, just because... He will, um, he'll serve us long term. And there we go. Where's the helipad? Is there a helipad? Helipad's here. Bit of a trek, so probably going to want to buy this and then put the training room in here. So that'll probably be my next plot. Oh, 89%. Um, hospital attractiveness. Not bad at all. And now let's wait for... Oh. Let's let's make sure the, the place isn't too horribly warm. Oh dear, forgot about that one. At least that's a good thing about these little alcoves is that we can put them to some good use and just bang air cons in there. Go. Everyone should be pretty happy with that. Doctor required in GP's office. Doctor will be in GP's office pretty soon. There we go. Let's get this one trained in level one treatment. And I'm gonna upgrade that again. I think the next thing we're going to probably want to build pretty sharp is a ward. Uh, what am I doing? Nurse, please go to the Let's put our prices up. The nurse will be with you in 18 days. <laughs> please bear with us. Ah, it's getting upgraded anyway. Give it a bit of time. I have a nice queue there. Hopefully we can start curing people straight off the bat. Yeah. Ooh, promotion. Pharmacy. Let's see if we've got any decent staff come in. No to there. Hmm. No, sleepy. Ah, it's always a pain having a sleepy one. Alright, there we go. pick you up. Just get some treatment done for now. 
And I'm probably going to regret that, just spending all my money on getting the maintenance guy leveled up in mechanics. But hopefully, we're going to make some cash. Get these cures in, nice and quick. You can see you got 99% there, 99, 99 again. No, don't you now do it. Let's get some people in. And you can see our hospital value isn't doing great, but that's purely because we're not making a profit at the moment. I wouldn't expect our hospital value to be doing great right now. Stop trying to upgrade the machine. Let's cure some people. Not so good if you're driving. But what's a few car accidents when you can find out all about those products you didn't know you needed? At least they're all, they're all hopefully pretty easy cures. Yeah, 99% should be curing most of them. And at the same time, just... Oh, you're repairing it, not... We're missing a doctor. Why uh, can't average height... All right, you go. You definitely go now. Let's see. Yes. Another GP. Perfect. And what else have we got? Hmm. No. Evil. Evil. Ah, we got a boring, charming. Be charming and boring. That's a mystery. So I drop that one in there just so we can get that upgrade done. And see, yeah, we're making a bit of money now. A bit of money. Hopefully we'll, uh... I'll do it now, actually. Build that plot. So we can... This upgrade's not going to take too long. Uh, we've got no more staff. So now, essentially... We just want to, I mean, it's still quite early on, just slowly start building our hospital up, keep it growing, and wait for those cubism people to come. I mean, I'm not doing it any favours right now by getting that um, uh, drug mix upgraded, but long term it will be better. So, reputation in this, in this hostel is going to be a bit of an issue, especially if you put all your prices up like I do going to push your reputation down um, so you can see the bar just above the level three in the bottom right there um, it has reputation and yeah essentially that's gonna for cubing um, yeah so that's that demonstrates our reputation and it is going to go down because we have our prices up so you could you could change that um, by not having them as high but then you might fall into a bit of money issues. I still have them high, although we've got the reputation challenge, um, purely because we will uh, get that back in the end. Um, when we start to cure people, get a really high cure rate, because we're gonna need a 90% cure rate at some point, the reputation just comes along with it. And if we're really struggling, we could just run marketing campaigns to help with that reputation. So now I'm assuming that room has been, well, that building has been built. So we can just stick our um, training room just there. Yeah, you see our hostel values starting to go up. And let me just just dump some aircon for now. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. I'd almost forgot bit of a cue, but hated that song. It'll it's be like fine. You stub your toe and it hurts. But a week later you think it yeah, didn't get that sick clean up. Then you stub your toe again. And you remember. Hey, this pain. one might not be bad. I know they're illiterate and they're grumpy, but they're a level well, two um psychiatry, like which is already pretty toe. good. And they have the tireless trait. It, the tireless trait is definitely one that I would always consider. Like I don't count that as a polluted skill tree. So it might even be worth grabbing them now and 
dropping them in because they can do that additional diagnosis that our GP yet can't do. So if I just stick chair right there, that couch right there, so the patient's just going to come straight in. We can stick an aircon unit, probably not good because um, it's just going to be super loud while the doctors or the psychiatrists are trying to listen to you, uh, listen to your problems and cure you, but oh well. Let's get those medicine cabinets down. And let's actually have them in the right place this time. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, you were working so lovely before. And now you want to go ahead and do this to me. Come on, there we go. And we've already got our um, aircon unit in, so we don't need to worry about this side too much in terms of spacing. There we go. Oh. I still really want Sega to sort out Two Point Hospital in terms of having template rooms that you could save because it would make life so much easier just to be able to quickly drop into like a little menu and click a template template room that I've already built just so I wouldn't or I wouldn't you guys wouldn't we all wouldn't have to continually build the same room again and again and have all these fun times with our ah, breathe with our medicine cabinets oh I there we go disable there we go I'll probably fit another one in just here actually am I gonna fit it in Nah. All right, I'm not gonna mess around with that too much. So let's just get a couple of gold stars down. There we go. And we have a psychiatrist now. So we're, we're getting we're getting calls for a ward. Um, don't have that yet at the moment so I'm just gonna send them home and we don't have the yeah I don't have the staff that could go to it either hmm you're a tired little pat but you are only source of income so let's get you all the way back chop you in there again especially when you stay in their back gardens low on the old funds which is why I um, can't really afford for Pat to have a little break because our only source of income at the moment is up other than diagnosis is going to be this pharmacy unless we get like mock star and there we go misery guts so you can see our price reputation bomb left there it's pretty low I will build a ward that is coming. Would it fit nicely here? Is it just going to be... Hmm. I think it's just going to be just a... Ah, we'll see. Screen in. And you see our hospital value is doing... Oh, hospital value is doing quite nice. We are making a decent amount of money. Not anything spectacular, but we're getting that. Yeah, this this wall's just it's a tiny bit small on, or on the smaller side. Let's see, can I yes, I can just fit the extra screen there. I can stick this just slap bang in the middle. Let me just pause this. Um can drop down some medicine cabinets not many though yeah and then the last thing is going to be these gold stars now I can build this room but I don't actually have the staff for it so I'm actually I'm not gonna I'm gonna close it the second it's open there we go 
Yeah, it's a bit smaller than I usually like it. So yeah, make sure that you add the extra staff member, but as I said, we're going to close it for now and we will come back for it. So we're hopefully going to get some decent nurses. There we go. We have an assistant. Nice assistant there. Oh, I thought that was a janitor then. I was getting really confused. I was like, why is the janitor coming in to fix that? Well, it's pretty good. We haven't had anyone for cubism rock by yet. Sure that'll come. Yeah, you can see our hostel, um, hostel value is doing pretty well. We just need to keep this going, essentially. We'll start to get some cubism people come in. Start to make a bit more cash. And we should be getting to that one star with not too much of a problem. Good, decent curate at the moment as well. 90 days without a death. Well, should go with our decent curate at the moment. So let's, let's check. Come on. Come on. I would like a ward nurse or, an, or a no nurse. I'm going to hire them for now. Well, I'm going to try and hire them now, but I can't because, uh, because we don't have the cash. I am going to hire this one, though. Ugh, I was going to hire that one. Now I can again. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get them trained in... Psychiatry. So I know it's going to take our psychiatry out of action just for a small amount of time. But hopefully, that training can be pretty sharpish. And then I'm going to hire this nurse, drop them in here, and just open it up. Now I know they're kind of against the sort of thing I want to go for, but for now, let's let's get them for now. Get patients away. The ward is now open for business. Psychiatry. It's again that ward's going to help with our diagnosis, and it's it's just going to help with some more treatment as well. Seems like a lot of um, a lot of patients for the pharmacy so far. So I'd expect maybe a few more to start coming for the wards shortly. We've already got Janet with ghosts, so we're good with that. Yeah, let's take on, let's take on an early, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Let's take on a early emergency. And I'm just going to pick that one up, drop them in there, get this patient seen to, and they should, yeah, they should come here, so it shouldn't take them too long to get there. And we can just bump up this price. All right, I'm actually now gonna, now that that doctor is rested, I'm gonna swap them out so that the new guy comes in. There we go. You get working in there, just because they're, they're a better trained doctor and that'll help with the emergency. Yeah, Emperor Complex. Is that, yeah. All completely naked and doing stretches. Different. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, I will. Uh, look at that profit and look at that hospital value. And we, yeah, we have someone with cubism. So I'm going to drop this doctor in. I'm hopefully going to drop them in the wrong place. I was going to drop them in, and I'm going to get them trained in treatment. Nice four awards to start. Get them trained in treatment, and then we can build... Oh, I've dropped them in the wrong place again. We can build a um, place for cubism, a recovery room. So you can see we've got a few people you can train for treatment. 
So I'm just gonna get that one to train them for now, just cause it will be quicker. I know that means we've got no one in our ward. Let's just hire that one for the ward for now. And you can get in the pharmacy. There we go. Add two point back. No, 90 days for a death. Happy mind, days. You want to be comforted. So let's this. get a recovery Tasty room on the go. Five by three, so it's a decent size. Two point back. There we go. It just feels right, doesn't it? And I always, especially in, in this hospital, um, prefer to have it, those like larger rooms, like on the skinny side, rather than having them like thin. And so I, I, I could have made it three this way and five that way, but that would have blocked the door and it would take up most of the whole building. So I always like to make them a bit longer. Let's get those gold stars down. Plunk a gold star in completely the wrong place. Let me just pick that up. Come on. Any. Let's just put a fire extinguisher down, eh? Flat bang in the middle. We've got an air con. We've now got enough gold stars. Sell that one. Get this upgraded. And hopefully just get it upgraded before we have to cure that patient. And again we got this treatment doctor. Training course completed. Hopefully. Ah, you can see our hostile value. Absolutely smashing it. Um, I'm going to have this one as a pharmacy nurse. Anyone else? Um, no. No one else for now. So let's grab this nurse. And I'm actually going to pay for, for this one just so we can still make sure we've got someone in the ward. There we go. Let's just check. I'm pretty sure I don't want anyone else. I've already got two. No. No, 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 no. And all of these are kind of uh, the polluted skill tree. So again, I'm not going to go for that. How's our emergency going? Cured five, failed one. And we got one more left. And we're getting through the day. That bar is not going down, though, it seems. The 74, 75 is going up, but the bar's not going down. There we go. And that's been really helpful for our money situation. Again, 20 grand a pop. So hopefully this should be done. And I clearly need to go to the research room. So in between these next stars, I'm going to make my way to the research room and get that research done. So I'm just going to be on the constant lookout for hiring decent staff. That would be a very good one, actually. If it didn't have mechanics. There, we got our ward training done. Happy days. So, I could still do with a couple more. Let's just get our GPs start to get trained up now. Just while things are just still on the on the slow side. I mean, we're level five, hostile value is 1.4 million, attractiveness is through the roof. Uh, we just need to get those 10 patients in with cubism. So you can see we've got two in the queue here. I can imagine some of them are, yeah, there we go. They're gonna need further diagnosis. So you can see, we click in here. Wow, our GP diagnosed in 39%. Then the ward, another 9%. Then we got another 13%. So this psychiatry is really our um, our last chance to get this one diagnosed. 
Let's see if we can do it. 17, Man, yeah. I'm being evicted at the end of the week. That makes it to 78, so the they're not quite there, I don't think. So I think, yeah, they'll go back to the GP then and bump these prices up and hopefully get that final um, go ahead to go into the recovery room. Let me just tag this GP in to get learning. Yeah, we will have a doctor soon, don't you worry. Drop them in here. Doom, 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 boom. Yeah, things are going pretty well. Just that cubism. Ah, and we got one on the go. Let's see. Not confident, but oh, oh, I mean it's gone perfect. So we've got a seventy percent chance of of curing. So we should get there fairly quick. I could do with upgrading that machine once I've done the research and um, increasing the training on the staff. That's that'll help out quite a bit. Well, our doctor's a bit away from getting promoted yet, so. Hold on a bit. It'll come though. Let's see what we got. No, and it's another cure. I think it was uh, motivation. Try if they weren't a lazy and once. Oh, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Let's get another one in. I mean, I know they're lazy, but it's kind of counteracted by the um, motivation. And the thing is, with treatment doctors, we're gonna have so many of them, they're not gonna be in the room that much. So, yeah, we should be fine. And we actually have some more training to do. Let's just get these two in the... Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's get... Let's get you trained. Our lonely pharmacy nurse. Oh, you're killing me with the... With the bad staff. But you can see we've got quite a few um, recovery people just knocking around but they are having to go the long way through all of our diagnosis rooms psychiatry on the way. there we go let's do another emergency more naked guys and gals there they are oh lord a reminder that the annual two point charity walk is this so we get another one done. That'll be nice. We'll be just chopping through this quite quickly. Yeah, there we go. Just pause that quickly, see if there's anyone else who could do with the treatment training. I'm going to go with a no. Yeah, it's a no. But... I wouldn't mind... Water Management 2. Let's get Ward Management 2 done and I'll get that other nurse to teach it. I could really do with some decent staff coming our way. Wow, look at that queue. The emergency. Well, we've won so far. 30 days in there, so we're going to have to quickly rattle these out. But... All that money. They just. Oh, I've got no one in here, haven't I? Yeah, hospital value nearly two million. We're smashing it. We are smashing it. Yeah, I'll get a nurse in the ward as soon as this training's done. 
Sorry, guys. And it's also going to hold up our cubism and patience as well. There we go. Get you in there. Three done on the old emergency. Let's take another doctor. What are we going to want this doctor to do? So we got two treatment. Mm, you know what? Let's pick them straight up. Let's get them not there. Let's get them in here. I believe we have a teacher. There we go. Get them trained in treatment. And then I can actually get rid of that other one that I was kind of umming and ahhing about. Not going to build an injection room for now. I'm just going to focus on my cubism. I think. I think that's going to be the way forward. Keep it, keep it small for now. I mean, we are going to need a DNA lab, fracture ward, head office, injection room, resolution lab, shock clinic, surgery. So we will, we will have to expand soon, but not for now. nearly done there we go oh, dropped them in the wrong place again haven't I always drop them at the back let's pick you up let's get you on GP3 we're absolutely whizzing through these trainings I'm actually really happy with that and yeah I can actually fire you now and while we're here while we are here let's just make things all that extra bit quicker by getting these extra bookcases in. There it is. I was trying to find the sweet spot for it. Don't think we're going to fit another one just because of that air conditioning unit. Yeah. There we go. Get that just a bit of extra training speed. Another one coming in with cubism. Again, we're five, ah, six, six out of seven. Really helpful for the cash. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. Oh, wow, we're getting, we're definitely getting the doctors in, aren't we? So what we're now. 2GP, so I'm actually, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to train this one to be a, another GP, I think. I think that's going to be the best use of their um, resource, just because we are going to grow at some point soon. So it would be good just to have another GP to handle when we have another GP's office, probably round here. Um, four out of ten for cubism getting there slowly but with our GPs getting better at diagnosing the cubism people should have to go through less rooms so it should make it a bit better and a hustle value of 2.5 million I mean for three stars we need to be at 4 million so we're already doing pretty well but you can see our reputation not so much our reputation is not doing too good Right, let's do it this way. Let's just pick pick you up. Let's make you do a GP training to that guy. There we go. Yeah, hopefully with this, um, with these uh, GPs just getting improved, we should have a less of a queue here at the psychiatry because we won't need it for a diagnosis as much. I mean, if we look here, yeah, 47%. And what that was, yeah, with a two. So hopefully with a three, yeah, be in a bit of a better spot. Oh, yay. That was, that was genuine excitement there. Um, so we can do another ward nurse. 
because eventually I do want to get rid of this one. Um, but I mean, we do need another pharmacy nurse as well, so I need to keep an eye out for that. Uh, we did our staff request, cured 10 patients. Wasn't too hard. Hustle value took a bit of a hit there. Not churning as many people through the door. But let's get this training done. There we go. Oh, I could actually build a uh, injection room. I, one of our staff members does have um, the trait for it. And we just got another one as well. Do for thought. Don't need you. Not really going to expire. It. Yeah. Expensive, stupid, not really one that I want. Should have hired one of those assistants, no worries. We can live with that. Down on our See how we're doing elsewhere. Get this one um, in for another psychiatry. As soon as that's done, there we go. Let's pick them up, drop them in. And you can see we've got a decent amount of money now as well. So, I mean, we could consider dropping our um, our. Um, Price is a bit. Do need to watch out the impact that that would have on um, on hospital value, but we should be fine. We got one more cubism patient there. We've got any more knocking around? Not by the looks of it. So we should be hopefully getting to five cubism five cubism patients. Oh, we already are. Hopefully getting to six soon. We need a staff morale of 75%. What are we on? 74. Done. <laughs> oh, that was an easy one, wasn't it? Ah, let's hire that one. There we go. So we've got our first um, maintenance janitor, or that can solely focus on maintenance. There we go. Still could do with one that we could sell on ghost capture. Let's get this GP in here so we can pick up that one, get them learning a new skill, general practice three. And, oh, I clicked the wrong button. And we've already got a doctor who can train them in it. Happy days. There we go. My button pressing isn't the best today, it seems. Now we got Psychiatry 3 done. Mm, didn't make money that time. Hustle value dropped a bit, but nothing for us to worry about, to be honest. Let's see what awards we're in. I don't think we've had a death. We're not researching. I don't speak too early, but it could be a seven. -er. There it is. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I pretty much class that as an eight because we would have an eight if we had a research room, but do not need one. So we could consider building a marketing room and getting a cubism um, campaign going if we want to speed things up a bit. We've got one, um, one patient knocking around with cubism at the moment. Do we have an assistant that has the... Yeah. Let's just do it. Just to purely, purely just to speed things up a bit. I'm actually probably going to once once we've done it, get rid of the room. Maybe we'll see. Not really first 
how things go in this room. Yeah, call him doctor. Definitely get, we want doctor in the recovery room. Let's fit these last ones in. There we go. Yeah, so whatever that was, it was the aircon, I think. Oh, bit tired. But we can just do an illness, cubism, off we go. And we can just drop that assistant in there. Yeah, I'll take that on. And let's see. Could take that one. Let's take that nurse. And what we can do is we can stick them pharmacy only and we will train them in pharmacy management next. So it's just the, the flip of what we've done with the other, essentially. Oh, and that pushes us to level seven, I think. So we're 5 out of 10, so we're halfway through, and I'm hoping that, injection room, no, I'm hoping that this will help us um, get a few more, there we go, get a few more um, cubism patients in. So we're 6 out of 10 at the moment. Let's get this one trained. I just get them trained by a trainer. Uh, get in there. And what I'm actually going to do is number three, Susie, let's bump it to the top of the queue just so we can get our cubism done as soon as possible. So six out of ten. Really nearly there. You get in there. Unhygienic and grumpy. No. Um, we'll take this one though. And to be honest, this one is a good cleaner as well. Tireless, candy teacher as well. Yeah. Hey, we got some pretty good janitors there actually. Let's not have them try and fix anything. And it does mean that Toby, though, is on his way out. Sorry, Tobes. Four out of four on that emergency. Perfect. Time to copy and send that the other way. Yeah, that's probably going to be the place to put it. We just got that little square just missing. Do need to do now though is just get those drinks machines back. Just people don't complain too much. Learn any qualification. Whitney. Who is Whitney? There you go. Off you go. Yeah, hospitals start to get a bad reputation, so we do need to look out for that when we um, get the star. But we, we can do marketing campaigns to boost reputation, so hopefully that will that'll help. Come on, let's get a doctor in, because we want to smash out these cubism patients. Come on, I just I dropped you in there for a reason. Ah, and we have a epidemic. So we've got Drogger's Ripple. So if we see anyone running that we think shouldn't be running or stretching, doing any form of sporting activity, just cure them. To be honest, I am not really fussed with Drogger's Ripple, so I'm just going to get rid of it. We have... Seven done. We're so, so close. I 
saw another cubism patient come in, so hopefully we can get them done. Uh, you can be trained while we wait. Yeah, hopefully we should see some more cubism patients knocking around. Yeah, there we go. You're number four. Whitney, you're now number one. Where are you going? You're second in the queue. Just want to do everything I can to get those Q vision patients um, treated as soon as possible, just so we can get that final Final bit for the star. We've got a hospital attractor level 107%. <laughs> oh, oh wow, oh wow. Yeah, that, that uh, cubism one's working, isn't it? Let's just stick these at the front. Sorry guys. Hopefully though, yeah, there we go. Two on the go. So it'd be nice to get them cured. Ah, there we go. Hopefully these will be the two that we need. So 67% and 66%. Oof, so it could be a close one. Let's see, and we've got another one running here. So at least there's that in case it doesn't work out. Who can we hire? No one there, no one there. How are we doing? Oh, I think that's our first death. I think that's our first death. End of the third year, death number one. That's not too shabby. No ghost, that's okay. So what? I might do just while I've got this. So you can do a uh, reputation. So just give a small boost to the reputation. Just do a little five month there. Hopefully get these ones cured. I'm not gonna take that emergency just because that, that queue is pretty big because of the campaign we did on cubism and they all have to go to the the psychiatry just because our GPs aren't quite skilled enough yet. But hopefully with this one, we should be signing off star one. Not trained anyone in a bit. Hostile value's taking a bit of a hit because we're not making as much money, but I'm I'm confident we're all gonna be fine. Hopefully we'll get this patient cured. And we should get, there we go. We got our first star. So congratulations. Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Tourism is undoubtedly a disease of sorts, but yet it's also vital for the livelihood of the county. For tourism to thrive, the tourists themselves must survive. Now that this is happening, they can return home to tell their friends and their friends money. Continue working in the hospitality for Continue working in hospitality, yeah? For more rewards or go elsewhere and expand your organization. So we unlocked Blyton, um, the next hospital, and we got a Cubism poster. So that is one star. So you can see our next tasks are gonna be to get our hostel value up, to um, get our attractiveness up, which is completely fine, get our reputation desperately up, and get a 75% cure rate, which I definitely think we can do. All right, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you found this video useful, um, please let me know by giving it a like, leaving me a comment down below and subscribing to the channel so you can be the first to see the Start 2 video when it comes out and just see more great content just like this. All right, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye for now.